Hey guys, Mike from 24 Hour Solar Power here. So I want to say thank you. If it's your first time to the channel, welcome. And for those guys who like and subscribe and comment and follow us the channel, we really appreciate your support. It really helps with everything. Today we're talking about the nickel iron battery technology. So this is a bit of a 2020 review update. We've been selling nickel iron batteries for over a decade now. Now we love these products. Um, they were probably one of the most popular batteries that we've ever sold uh, until recently. Now they're a very huge, in the DIY industry, everyone loves these things. And we'll go through some of the positives and negatives and you know, at the end of this video, I'm gonna show you a better solution that we think we found that's rivalry with the nickel iron battery that has that same longevity and it's a really ethical battery. Um, so yeah, let's get into it. So the positives about a nickel iron battery, they're very long lasting. There's histories of nickel iron batteries. There's a video I'll link below uh, that I did with Jeff Lawton. We actually had the opportunity to service some of these batteries if you do some research on YouTube, they're everywhere. Um, of guys having batteries that are 50, 60 years old that still work and operate. Now we were lucky enough, this customer found a whole heap of paddock in uh, Melbourne, brought them up and we got the chance to service these batteries. So you can see that in the video that we'll link, we'll link below. So the good thing about them, long lasting safe materials, this is nickel and iron. So pretty much if you add cobalt to those two materials, you've got tool steel. So very longevity sort of battery safe materials to work with, and they've got a proven history. Now, the downsides with nickel iron batteries, so they're inefficient with losses. So if you just compare them and, you know, pretty much there is 65% efficient is what most people sort of say about them. Now, in the whole scheme of efficiencies, you just whack up extra couple of solar panels and they actually will cover the losses. So it's not a really huge thing. Um, if space is an issue and energy efficient all this sort of stuff, yeah, it is. But if you're doing an off-grid DIY, a couple of extra solar panels whacked on the roof will cover those losses. Now the maintenance. Now with nickel iron batteries, pretty much through winter, you can get away for probably three to four months with very little topping them up. Come summer, because it's long days, they boil and they use a lot of water. So you're basically out there pretty much every two weeks filling the batteries up and all that sort of stuff. So they... That can get quite annoying, uh, filling batteries up and stuff like that. We've worked with systems over the years, trying with auto fillers and stuff like that. And it's really hard to make something work with nickel iron, unless you're a real DIY sort of person. Uh, they get lazy in winter. So what that basically means is in winter, nickel iron love a really good long hard charge. So what happens in winter, if they don't get that good charge, they become lazy and they do silly little things like literally you can turn a kettle on first thing in the morning and you'll just have an overload, things will go flat, but your batteries say they're 70%. Um, and then 15 minutes later, you turn that kettle back on and it'll run. So they're really lazy in winter. They don't like um, you know, those long nights, short days. If you think about a nickel iron battery, they're more of a storage battery than a power battery. So they're great for lights, TVs, fridges, really low energy usage. If you really want a big current draw out of them, you're gonna want a, a lot bigger, larger set um, to handle that load. And also one of the downsides for us as a business selling install them, they're limited with products. We found a pretty good niche uh, with a product that worked really well for us here in Australia. Um, unfortunately in America, uh, well fortunately in America, in the US, they're a lot more popular battery over there. And there's a lot more products that work with them. In Australia, we had about three different inverter chargers and solar charge controllers that would work with nickel iron batteries. Where over in the States, there was 10, 20, 30 different types of inverters that would work with these products. So um, we just weren't lucky enough here in Australia to actually have those products or companies in Australia that supported products that would support nickel iron. So yeah, so that's sort of the positive needs of a nickel iron battery. Now let's talk about what we've found a better battery. Um, so we found a better battery without the downside. So we think so lithium titanate oxide or LTO as they're called. Now these are an Australian company that make these batteries here. With LTOs, most of the battery is actually carbon. So they're actually quite a large battery when you're comparing them to a lithium battery. But when you compare them to a nickel iron battery, they're quite small. So this is some different examples. They're IP rated, they can go on the wall. They actually, the way they've designed them, even they're a big battery compared to a lithium battery, they take up very little space. Now, the thing with these batteries, the battery cells themselves, um, there's a research done by the University of New South Wales in Sydney in Australia here. 
They reckon these batteries do have a 60 year life expectancy, the cells themselves. So you know, competing on that nickel iron battery, that longevity point of view, they have very little lithium and most of the battery is made of carbon and they have that 60 year life expectancy and they come with a 20 year warranty uh, from an Australian manufacturer here in Australia that can be shipped all over the world in a, across the globe. Uh, Toshiba do some LTOs. There's a lot of companies start using them and they most commonly at the moment around the world are using buses because they can be charged fast, they can be discharged fast. Really in a home battery storage situation, you won't get any of those advantages because you can't put a solar system big enough up to really um, be able to charge these things faster than what they can really handle. So they're a really great product. In my opinion, the only really downside with these things here, that they will require maintenance over the life expectancy. So the cells themselves, I'm confident with the research and development that I've seen from the University of New South Wales, that they're a cell that will last the 60 year life expectancy, they've got that longevity. The biggest downside I see with these batteries is the BMS. So in all new lithium type batteries, they have a BMS, which is a battery management system which is a little circuit board, printed circuit board basically. Um, they have watch batteries in them. The watch batteries is gonna go flat over time. That circuit board's gonna fail in my opinion. I think what's gonna happen. So I don't think you're gonna get your 60 years out of the, the battery because of that. Now, the really good thing about that is it can be replaced. So if you're that sort of person that's got the DIY or you know, your solar company can service it. A lot of solar companies these days can't service the batteries and they, you know, with all my guys that are working with us, we, we build some electric carts and buggies and things like that. And the boys have actually had experience actually building a BMS from scratch. It's something that we do with our apprentices. Um, so that when these things do fail in the future, we can actually just rip it all apart, put a new BMS in there, and we can still continue to use those cells. The biggest thing for us with batteries is that ethical, they're gonna last a long time. We were sort of late to the party when it comes to lithium products because we weren't that confident with a really good product. So we found some really good products that we were right for, and that's mainly why we did the, the nickel iron batteries, and now we're sort of moving to more toward these LTO type batteries, that longevity. Um, so thanks for watching. If you haven't already, like, subscribe. If you've got something, this would really appreciate if you share with someone. And uh, yeah, thanks for watching. Have a great day.